Hey everyone, welcome to Cover Creations. My name is Gareth and this is my little corner of the internet for playing my food. Today I'm doing something which I've not done before because over the last you know few years, kind of getting into my barbecue a bit more and I just wanted to up my barbecue game. So I've been coming up with a couple of little recipes and now for once the sun is shining, I can actually do it. I'm trying to do one of these videos and work out an exact day here where it's gonna be nice, really tough, but Bizarrely, recently we've just had glorious weather after glorious weather. So I can really go for this one. Now these are my tandoori prawn skewers. Now I absolutely love these. They are equally good under the grill as on a barbecue. So don't worry about it if the weather's not looking too great and you still want to make them. They'll work perfectly under a grill. So the first thing you're going to need is some prawns. Now, what I've done here is I've got some prawns from the frozen section in my local supermarket. Those prawns are really, really good. You know, there's nothing wrong with them at all. And you're much more likely to find a decent price than, you know, some of the fishmongers, especially chatting to friends when they've tried to make this, going down to fishmongers and it's costing huge amounts per kilo. Whereas I've got 600 grams here and that's enough for two people. And that was eight quid. You know, that frozen section of the supermarket is definitely worth a look at. So what we're going to do is obviously defrost them. So we've defrosted them, just got them in water there. And then we're going to kind of take some of that skin off. We're going to leave the head and the tail connected. And what that's going to do is give you this lovely piece of meat. Once it's skewered through the head and tail, you'll still get some of that flavor that you get from charring the shells. Um, and it really does. It's amazing how much that adds to it. So you can keep them on and it means you can just kind of pop them and bite straight through the middle. Perfect, nice and good for when you're doing something messy at a barbecue. So to deshell your prawn, just wanna pop your thumb in the bottom, pull that away, and then just kind of keep running around it, leaving that head on. just going down to that tail bit. So you've got this lovely piece of meat right down the middle. And then pop your knife, cut about halfway through down the back of the prawn. And you'll see in there, if we can get a decent close up, you've got this digestive tract. And then you can just pull that out and get rid of it, because we don't want to eat that. And that's your prawn all prepped. And prepping the prawns like that is just going to allow you to have this kind of curling and butterflying of the prawn as you cook it. And also, while it's sitting there, when we put a marinade in, it's going to get inside the prawn as well. So you're going to get a load more flavour. So it just works really beautifully well. So I'm going to crack on with these. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it took a little while, that, about 15, 20 minutes to get all of those done. But our prawns are there in a nice container that we can just put in the fridge once you've got the marinade in there, they are ready to go. Now, quick tip for, especially for the UK audience, um, I'm doing this on the day after all of my bins have been collected, which is kind of a bit of a problem sometimes when you're dealing with prawns. So all of those shells, gonna keep them separate, put them in a kitchen caddy liner on their own, and then once you've finished eating all of your prawns, all the heads and that, we can whack them in as well. And then just pop that in the freezer because that way it's just going to not stink out your bin, which can happen quite easily, especially in the nice hot weather. So that's a really good kind of easy way of doing it. Just tie them up, pop them in the freezer. Just remember next week when it comes to bin time to take them out. But now we can make that marinade. So we're going to start with two garlic cloves. We're just going to chop these up and we're going to pop them in a pestle and mortar. So we want to really kind of mash these down just so that they get everywhere throughout the marinade. Okay, so that's my garlic done. I'm going to pop that in there. And then we're going to look for some ginger, which I have here. And you're going to want probably about an inch of ginger in this. So just pop a bit out. That'd be about right. 
fresh ginger is so much better. I mean, this is the lazy stuff, which just makes my life much, much easier because you can never get ginger in the size you want. It's always in these giant ones. And if you don't use it, it's a bit annoying. So always buy a little pot of lazy stuff. And we can just chop that up again, put that in with the garlic. There we go, lovely. So now that's in there, we're gonna add a pinch of sea salt. This is gonna add to the marinade as well. So good pinch of sea salt in there. Just kind of helps whenever you're mashing something in the pestle and mortar. That little bit of salt, instead of waiting and putting in the marinade later, shove it in here, you'll find everything mashes down a bit quicker. So, get pounding. And there we go. Very quickly, got this lovely paste. So now all we've got to do, pop that paste into a little mixing bowl. And then we can start adding a few more flavors in. So a lemon, lemon with any kind of fish, lovely. So you're just gonna pop in the juice of about half a lemon. So just wanna squeeze that in there. So now that lemon juice is in there, we're gonna add in some yogurt. Now with this one, I tend not to go for a Greek yogurt, I tend to go for a normal kind of natural yogurt, just because the Greek one can be so, so thick that it becomes kind of blobby on the prawns. And this is more of a marinade. We don't want them completely, completely covered. So you're gonna to need to use about four tablespoons of natural yogurt. There we go, that's mixed in. Now we can add in some spices. And we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be quite mellow with the spices. So we're gonna add in about a quarter of a teaspoon of ground chili, like so. And then half a teaspoon of ground coriander, like so. And then half a teaspoon of turmeric. Now this one's great, it's got like, it's slightly, I suppose some people call it medicinal flavor, but it really works with these. The strength of those prawns will come through it and the lovely kind of yellow color you get with it as well just kind of makes it look pretty special. So pop that in there, give that a mix. And that is my marinade done. So now we've got to do is just pour that over the prawns Then get our hands dirty and just mix that in so they're all really nicely covered. Be careful with these though, because if you've left heads and stuff on your prawns, they're spiky things and you can really <laughs> do yourself a bit of an injury. So be gentle. Plus you don't want to knock any of the heads or tails off. You just give that a lovely mix around so everything is coated beautifully. There we go, so those prawns covered in the marinade now and they're sticking to them. It's gonna be delicious, I know it is. So now we're just gonna pop a lid on. We're gonna whack that in the fridge for probably two hours, maybe more. You can do this the night before if you really want to, but give it at least two hours just to let those flavors really kind of get in there. But otherwise, I will see you when it's time to cook. Okay, so that's been marinating now for two hours or so. Now all we've got to do is skewer it up. So we can pop these out and they are looking really, really good. That marinade's just thickened up a bit. So you've got that kind of much darker yellow to it. Really, really nice. So all you need to do, grab yourself some barbecue skewers. And then with each one, you're just gonna push the skewer through the head. So you'll have a ridge just along the back of the head. Go okay, about there. Try not to stab yourself. Then just poke that through. And then grab your tail. Ooh, it's a tough one. And then just poke it through there. So there we go, all marinated up now, looking delicious, but we're gonna have to cook them. So we're gonna put them either under a grill now, if you wanted to, you can just put them straight under a grill, two minutes each side should be done. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same, but we're gonna take them out and do them the way they're meant to. A tandoori 
prawn is something cooked in a tandoor oven. Obviously we don't have tandoor ovens, particularly in our homes. So the barbecue is the closest thing you're gonna get. And the taste is fantastic when it's done like that. So I'm gonna take these outside. I'll see you out there. So welcome to the garden. Um, as you can see, I've got my barbecue going. It's a little bit smoky, but this one always is. So all we're gonna do now grab our prawns and just lay them on that barbecue and they're gonna cook so quick you're only gonna need about two minutes each side so it's just a case of whacking them on lovely and then we'll just leave them there for about two minutes turn them over and after that you should end up with some lovely prawn skewers okay so after about two minutes each side those should be done you just easiest way to test grab something and just give them a push and it's kind of like when you're cooking a steak, you'll get that slightly stiffer return to it. So it's like a immediate bounce back. Once that's done, those are cooked. So now all you need to do, grab yourself a plate and plate them up. Oh, they are hot, but that's it. Those, my tandoori prawn skewers absolutely delicious really worth making so there we go i do hope you give them a go i do hope you enjoy them because they are whoa if you don't throw them everywhere absolutely fantastic and as i said the way you cook them like this so easy you can just bite right through the middle mm. they are so so good the flavour is there, it's got the spices, but not too much, really lets that prawn shine through. And keeping them with a little bit of the shell intact adds so much flavour. So I better hurry up and take them over there because I'm getting some eyes that kind of say, shut up and bring me the food. So I hope you give them a go, I hope you enjoy them, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. <laughs>